Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you two tutorials uh, what you can create from one sheet 12 by 12 but before I will do share the tutorial for these, uh, especially now when the end of the school year is coming, I hope for those who have children at school will be cute this tea bag holder or it can be for any kind of sweets with magnetic uh, mini pocket and this is also magnetic. So maybe something like this, you can do it uh, even like a grungy style and it's like backpack and it's from one sheet and you don't have so many off cuts and I hope I made it easy way and also this small thingy which is uh, kind of like a wallet with the gift bag or gift box so uh, you can make it also in different styles Def depends on the paper you will choose so it can be very romantic and clear you can add there all kind of oh <laughs> oh i did, did so many <laughs> so many <laughs> knots you can add the uh, laces and stuff like that and create beautiful wallet for credit cards so one is th pocket here pocket here pocket here for credit card where is my pocket it's ah got stuck so pocket here for credit card pocket here for credit card and large pocket for uh, bank notes here and it's made both of these are made from one 12 by 12 sheet in different styles and maybe like you know manly style you can add their sewing and stuff like that so i hope you will enjoy these two, two, two tutorials which are coming today uh, in this video but before i will do so uh, i do have so many requests from my patreons if i can share uh, like preview what i'm gonna be sharing on my patreon so they know if to jump on my patreon straight away or if they want to leave this post or that post which is cute i think so i'm gonna share very quickly so today i shared on my patreon new digitals actually 3d <laughs> digital collections mini collections not nothing too big uh, one of these are american book plates with library cards it's just few sheets and here I already used that book plate in this book so it looks like this I do have I think four uh, which you can place in your book uh, vertically and four which you can place in your book horizontally and they are like uh, flip down so that's in this small collection there are these American book plates and this I actually <laughs> forgot to share with my patreons last week so these there are also and i think i used both of them there are also library pockets and library cards in that collection then i shared with my patreon this small collection of uh, orchid notes note cards uh, they are if you will cut between so you will have so many small note cards and I have used them in this journal as additional uh, cards in pockets or also as additional pockets uh, in my journal like this and here are these so that was another thing what I shared and also uh, two sheets with those beautiful ladies uh, in this journal and also tutorial for this journal this is actually altered book which was a kind of like second choice of the poll I, I shared with my patreons a few weeks ago first was lab book and with that lab book i'm struggling a little bit so i moved to the second choice so this is altered book uh, the tutorial i shared today my dear patreon so <laughs> jump in hopefully you will enjoy it that's sharing for my patreons and now for all you guys uh, i really hope you will like these two tutorials uh, i'm gonna share today one will be for these mini wallets wallet 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 <laughs> mini wallet both 
the gift box and the wallet itself it's made from one sheet 12 by 12 and what i showed you before it ha does have one two three four pockets for credit cards and one larger pocket for banknotes and you can decorate the top with some sticker or something and then these cute school bags the backpacks and it's also made from one sheet 12 by 12 full backpack including small note card inside and there is a lot of space for tea or for some treats and there is also small pocket here maybe for some small small note and <laughs> both both these flaps are magnetic so those tutorials are coming now i hope you will enjoy it so for this cute little uh, pocket pocket wallet i tried few different types of papers uh, here it's kind of like canvas paper which is uh, mixed with fabric and it's brilliant for this uh, for this project and you don't have to use so many embellishments and you have a nice and strong uh, wallet for your cards and for money including gift box uh, then I tried Tim Holtz papers, which are wonderful for any kind of, you know, projects. Also for this a little bit dimensional. I also added some sewing. And to make sure I will know where it's the top of that wallet, I added one sticker here. And again, we do have nice pocket wallet. This could be, you know, more, uh, more uh, masculine project. And here I tried very light paper. And because it was very light, I backed it with, I glued it to cheesecloth. The cheesecloth like this, and then I worked with that paper which was already glued on that cheesecloth. That way I know that the wallet, even it's not with those sharp edges, you know, sharp, sharp corners, that wallet will be very stable because it's, you know, half paper, half fabric. So, and we do have, again, all kind of pockets for cards, for, where you are for cards and for money. And again, because I wanted to know where is actually front of my, my wallet, I added here uh, that butterfly. It's like this. And we do have kind of like pocket, not box, but more like pocket. And this time I'm going to try... This pearlescent paper, it's nice gramage. It's from uh, the first edition collection. This is Colette uh, Sweet Nothings, and this is brilliant paper. I've got it in my stuff for years, so I'm guessing it's time to use it. So to create wallet and the gift gift box, first what you need to do, I'm starting with that 12 by 12 paper. And I want to have as my front paper, I mean this one, not what will be inside, but what I will have on the top. I wanted to have this pattern. First, I need to cut my paper on 7 inches. Uh, keep this on the side. And now we're going to score. So first scoring lines uh, will be on this long sides and it will be one inch three and three eighths three and half and three and five eighths and then <clears throat> pardon me last score line will be six inches Then flip your paper paper with that long side on the top, and we're gonna score uh, three and a half, seven, seven and one eighth, seven and one quarter. 10 and 3 quarter. So one more time. 3 and a half, 
seven, seven, seven and one eighth, seven and one quarter, and then ten and three quarters. Ten and three quarters. That's all your score line. Now you're gonna take your scissors and we're gonna cut. I'm always starting with those small corners here where are those three three lines in the in our scoring system. Uh, so you do have one big panel and then that small panel. So I'm always starting here cutting off these two corners. And you can cut, cut them a little bit in angle. Not exactly how your score lines going going, but a little bit in angle to those score lines. <clears throat> then every uh, parts around score lines you're gonna cut in angle here I, I will flip it this way so you can see how actually my score lines and I can see that how my score lines are going so around those score lines make angle cuts here as well I hope you can see And here, cut. So here I do have those three lines. So this end I'm going to fold inside. Burnish. And I'm going to take a glue and glue it down <clears throat> it will be like a reinforcing part for our pocket so i'm just gonna take a glue and glue it down now those uh, last parts do exactly same like with this one fold it now oh, come on fold it Add there a glue and glued them to this, to that base. So add their glue. And glue it down. Now fold your paper, paper in the middle. It's that uh, middle lane or, or line. <laughs> line in those three just fold it there and you should have your paper on the half and you need to cut kind of like entry here so you can take a scissors and with scissors cut some you know some some kind of shape or uh, if you would like to use your paper punch I'm gonna use this envelope punch board and I'm gonna slide I think I'm gonna flip it this way so you can see where the score lines are going so here I do have score line and I'm gonna slide it a little bit uh, like on the edge of this entry here and punch like this and same I'm gonna do with that opposite side uh, I'm gonna keep this um, like first from this punch first score line again on the edge here of this entry so on this edge and punch and I'm gonna take a knife and ru ruler and cut this part between but as i said you can use scissors and just with scissors cut some kind of entry so you will have something like this i'm gonna flip it this way uh, if you would like to if you are using some different paper and you would like to use uh, 
distress ink in this window do it now it's much much better to do it now so we will, we will have some piece like this uh, keep this one fold it on half so you will have prepared prepared your decorative strip and I think I will use that other perilous one that opposite side now take your off cut and cut the strip three and three eighths and here four and three quarter it's just small strip four and three quarter just really small strip grab your piece back flip it this way where you will see what is, what is inside not your decorative paper but what is inside grab this one and here it depends what you would like to see I think I would like to see that that white one because if I will place that this one it will be I'm not sure it will be kind of you know kind of like confusing <laughs> so I would like to see that white paper here once I will have there uh, my pockets so I'm gonna keep it this way over my window inside I'm gonna take a glue and put a glue on these two flaps and glue it over yeah come on in the middle fold it and fold this and let it dry if you would like to use your sewing machine and do sewing effect on your wallet like I did here do it right now it's much more easy to do it right now take your piece and do sewing effect just all around just simple sewing all around of this piece that, that's all and then take your piece I'm gonna show you from this side where you can see what is folded and what is uh, how it's folded fold this one with those side folds over this one more time now put a glue on this flap a little bit more now here open this space it's like you will open this and you will go with this strip just between here because this paper it's a little bit thick so I need to work with that and just slide it there I'm gonna take my bone folder and press it and same you're gonna do on that opposite side put the glue And here I use quite a lot and again open this slot here and slide your paper inside like this take your bone folder and nicely press and you do have your wallet done so you have pocket here large one you do have pocket here you do have pocket here and you do have pocket here and here now just fold it and I'm always using bone folder here on the top and kind of pressing everything to make that straight straight side and you do have your pocket and we will create our box gift box so take your leftover and take scoring board so your leftover should be eight and a half by five inches so place it with that eight and a half side on the top and we're gonna start to score first score line will be two and three quarter next score line will be three and one eighth 
Next score line will be five and a seven eight. And last score line will be six and one quarter. Flip it this way and score three eight. And four and five eight. That's all scoring. This one it's uh, the first part which I scored those two and three quarters. And here I'm gonna start the cut. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut the score line till the second score line from here. I think I'm gonna flip it this way so you can see. So I'm gonna. Uh, cut both sides same so on the score line to the second score line here and in the angle same on that opposite side like this and here in the angle in the angle and this part between same on that opposite side in the angle, in the angle, and that part between. If you would like to add sewing effect uh, to your box as well, now will be the best time. You can use your sewing machine and sew uh, just all around of this base, not those flaps, but on that base. And we will put together our box, so fold or, or, or fold all these score lines, not or, but all these score lines. Make sure it will work nicely. Where you don't have those side flaps, this will be flap of your box. So you can take a corner punch and just around it those corners like this. Now take a glue, add the glue to this uh, to that last uh, last part or last panel uh, side fold or side what is it edges. So add the glue to these side folds and now place it this way. This will go inside, this will go around like this. Try to make the bottom of your box straight and glue it inside. You can use your bone folder. And with both folder, press the sides together. That perilous sandpaper is drying a little bit slower than normal cardstock. So here I need to give it time to let it dry. So like this. I'm going to take my off cut. So first I'm going to take this, oh, which I cut from here. I'm going to add there a glue. Oops. And I'm going to just glue it here over the edge. Once it's dry, you can take another off cut and you can place it across of this one and to use as much as we have I'm gonna take that last one and I'm gonna place it uh, kind of like over 
that first one just with the the pattern on the top and I'm gonna let it dry so once it's dry uh, I'm gonna punch two holes and here I can still see uh, my scoring on that on this piece in on the bottom so I can still see those three score lines and I'm gonna punch the holes uh, on these three score lines kind of like ish they will be my navigator where is the middle of that part so like this and I'm gonna fix two eyelets like this and for a closure I've got here folks leather about 17 inches long strip and I'm just gonna slide it in and out I'm gonna tie the knots close to those eyelets to make sure that this strip will don't fall out so one from one side, another from that opposite side. I can take the wallet place it inside and wrap all box. You can put there some decorations, laces, uh, some embellishments, flowers, you know, anything you like, maybe some name. You can put uh, you can put name of the receiver on that wallet itself and you do have your box, including wallet inside, from one sheet of 12 by 12. So for tea and note card, backpack, and you can use the variations. Oh, you can make variation, I mean. You can make a smaller pocket or a bigger pocket. I will show you that smaller pocket. So I'm going to start again with 12 by 12 sheet. And I'm going to cut that sheet on 7 by 12. I'm going to put this small one on the side. And I'm gonna start to work with this 7 by 12. I'm gonna place my sheet with that 7 inches on uh, the, that meter on the top. And I'm gonna start to score. <clears throat> First score line will be 1 and 3 quarter. one and three quarter and the next score line will be five and one quarter five and one quarter then <clears throat> flip it this way and we're gonna score uh, four and one quarter five and three quarter ten and ten and one quarter now fold all your score lines and use your scoring tool or ruler if you are using you know if you are not using scoring board and you are using a ruler and some smaller scoring tool just burnish all your score lines so we do have this one now <clears throat> where there are two score lines uh, one and a half from each other uh, we're gonna fold we're gonna make fold not here where are those two score lines close together but here 
we're gonna fold these score lines these um, these edges so push the first score line from the edge of the paper push this corner outside this one inside and try to match this side with that side underneath side on side and press so here side on side and push it down same we gonna do on that opposite side lift it up now this one you need to push outside this one inside and now fold this score line to match it that uh, edge underneath hold it here and press this now flip it over and we're gonna do same this I'm gonna push outside this I'm gonna try to push inside and match this score line with the that fold here with that edge here and press here and same on that opposite side push that score line outside this inside and match this here and always from score line here to keep this corner this matching corner so we do have the, ba the base like this now you can a little bit push inside these sides Now take a ruler and pencil and on the side where you do have a flap open that side and from first score line uh, first score line from this edge take your ruler and in the here I'm gonna make a mark where this half it's and they are matching together here so I'm just gonna make small line so I know where to go and now from this score line I'm gonna make a mark one inch and this is the spot where I will put uh, the magnet now I'm gonna do same on that opposite side I'm gonna just draw a line where is ending the edge of this side I'm gonna take my ruler and from this edge I'm gonna go and do mark one inch as well and here is the place where I will put a magnet make sure I'm placing those magnets the right way so here I'm gonna put double-sided tape and this will be flap of our backpack so here I place double sided tape I'm gonna take one magnet and place it there on that spot like this now I need to find which uh, side of my magnets it's going to clip it together so that side this one this clipping side have to go that way not facing here but facing there down there because here they will meet together so this side of my magnet have to go straight away on this point I'm gonna take that magnet I think I'm first <laughs> gonna put the double sided tape over this take it off and because I do have bunch of magnets here so I'm gonna take it this way 
and just place that right here press it so that first magnet should get glued and I'm just gonna very quickly to try if I'm not mistaken they are there and it's closing nicely like this so now I can take double sided tape and I will put double sided tape here and here on the top I'm placing double sided tape around those score lines here where my flap will go so over those score lines and under those score lines and also on the edge here and here I will put my double sided tape on the edge and under my magnet gonna take it off and place those two sides together and take it off from here that packing paper and place these two sides together Now I'm gonna take my double sided tape again and here where we created those triangles I'm gonna put double sided tape here on this triangle just a little bit you don't have to put that too much it's a very small backpack so on those edges of these triangles where is the edge of the side which is going with this with this side so there on all four oops come on I'm gonna take off that backing paper oh come on and press and press And same from this side, take off that mm -hmm. here and here and press. So we do have our spot for T's and maybe some note and I can fold this and it's immediately it's closing on that magnet that's perfect now I'm gonna take my corner punch and punch these two corners So I do have my base done. Now I'm gonna take that off cut and I'm gonna cut uh, this is 5 by 12 that off cut so I'm gonna move it on 4 and 1 quarter and cut the strip 3 quarter of inch and the rest so here So here I do have four and one quarter by twelve, and here I do have three quarter of inch, three quarter of inch by twelve. I'm gonna place it on my scoring board, and I'm gonna score this strip on three eighths, three eighths of inch. I'm gonna fold it this way okay. 
think in the end it did score quite <laughs> different way okay so I do have this folded strip <clears throat> I'm gonna put my double-sided tape inside on that on one side one side is a little bit longer, so I'm placing my double-sided tape on that shorter side. And I'm gonna glue those two sides together. So I do have kind of like decorative strip where I do have that, um, you know, that edge white edge i'm gonna fold it half and cut it on two pieces that will be strips for my backpack so i do have prepared my strips for my backpack and i'm gonna take my leftover again so from this strip i'm gonna cut the piece four and three quarter four and three quarter yeah four and three quarter I'm gonna cut the strip and then one strip one and half inch one and half inch and this one I'm gonna cut a little bit more I forgot the measurement of this so I'm gonna have a look uh, three and one quarter yeah so one and a half by three and one quarter right here i'm gonna be using same corner punch for this small piece and that will be decoration right here on the flap so i'm gonna take a glue And glue it there straight away. For that other piece I just cut it, I'm gonna take my scoring board and we're gonna score. So I've got here my small piece and I want to see this one on the top here as my another pocket. So I'm gonna be scoring from here. And I'm I will score all four sides half inch half inch half inch all four sides like this now I'm gonna take my guillotine and cut this on the half not on the half I'm gonna cut this where there is four and three quarter so in this measurement I'm gonna cut it on two and three quarter so i do have two pieces that bigger piece will be a pocket for for my backpack so i'm gonna be folding all these and i can take my scissors and cut these corners And I'm gonna cut these edges in the angle as well to make sure that there will be no bulks. This will be entry to my pocket, this will be bottom of my pocket, and I would like to have it a little bit, you know, a little bit curved. So I'm gonna use my corner punch and punch and punch the bottom of my pocket. Now I'm gonna take this uh, bigger piece and I'm gonna be folding these sides up. So they will be like decoration. This will be flap of my envelope right here. And these sides will be like decoration to match it all together. So I'm gonna take my glue, put a glue on these folds and glue it down.
slow it down. Here is that off cut from this part. So I'm going to fold it half. And I'm going to be using small corner punch and I will punch all four corners. And this will be flap for my pocket. So here I'm going to take same corner punch which I used here. That's this large one. And I will punch those two corners which will be corners on my pocket. Ooh. So this is pocket, this will be flap for the pocket and I'm gonna take this small part, put a glue on one half and place it, we will try to place it in the middle, somewhere like this I'm guessing. Yeah, somewhere here. So now I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna take one magnet. Place that magnet here. Okay. I think this way it will be much, much better. <laughs> and stable. So I'm going to put a little bit of double-sided tape on this flap, take it off, find my magnet and place it there. Come on, go there. Come on. Yeah. We are all magnetic. Just go there, go there, go there. I do have my magnet on the spot. I'm going to put glue all around and glue it and let it dry. So I do have magnet here. I'm gonna take this flap, <coughs> pardon me, I'm gonna take my pocket, put a little bit of glue on these edges here and here, take the flap of my envelope and place it right here. And I will probably try to keep small gap like this here between fold and between edge of my pocket. And glue these two together like this. Now I'm gonna fold the flap, flip it over. I'm gonna take my magnets, and the magnet is over there. I need to, just one magnet, just one magnet. Right here. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and tape that magnet on the right spot. So we do have mini pocket with a magnet on it. Now I can put a glue on these folded edges and also here on the you know on that fold from from the flap of my envelope so it's like frame all around. So I can put a glue there here, here, and of course here. I'm gonna take my backpack, close it, and find a nice position for my front pocket, and hold it there until it's dry. You can open it and put there your hand and kind of give it that, that pressure from inside as well. 
or use your bone folder and a little bit press it all together to make sure that everything will get glued nicely. So we do have magnetic pocket here, magnetic pocket here, and the last thing before we will do some note card, we do have here those two straps. So I'm gonna just fold them a little bit. Oops. gonna put a little bit of glue on the edges of these straps here and here and I will try to find the middle right there somehow to put them in the kind of similar spot hopefully I'm there I'm gonna ho hold it who <laughs> hold it till it's dry can I just have a look from this side to make sure it's kind of evenly placed there. So I'm going to hold it. So it's still drying before it, uh, I will move to those uh, bottom parts of those straps. I'm going to take this last off cut and I'm going to cut this on the size three and a half. Uh, no, three and three quarter, that way. Three and three quarter and cut. This strip I'm gonna cut on, let me have a look, three and a half. This one is three and a half. I'm gonna be cutting a little bit less, three and three eighths. And I think I'm gonna take a small corner punch and we'll punch these two corners. I'm gonna put glue on this strip and place that strip right here. Kind of like secure these. You can use ribbon if you don't wanna use paper strips. Just wanted to show you how you can do it from 12 by 12 everything so once it's dry you can place your strips here around the corner so if you will fold this kind of like um, in triangle and place there a glue and then place it right here and here you have to hold it or use paper clips and clip it for uh, for some time to let the glue dry nicely I think I'm gonna take paper clips so I found those <laughs> these cute little ones so again I do have to hit that other strip and it will go here around this edge so I'm gonna fold it again kind of like in triangle here try you know match this side with that side here so here I'm creating kind of like triangle I'm gonna put there a glue in my fold and place it over the edge and again clip it with paper clip to make sure it will get glued nicely You have here this one and this one so this I'm gonna just fold on half and if I will don't wanna you know read it off of this small strip I'm gonna fold it on half as well again I'm gonna use this small corner punch this is the smallest I have I'm gonna punch these corners, put a glue on that strip and 
and place it right here like a very simple decoration I think this can be done hopefully are we there are we there are we there so inside it's going card and some tea some fruity because of these colors and here can go something uh, smaller some mini notes or something like that so that's this I hope you did enjoy this two, these two tutorials. I hope you found them some uh, good inspiration. Uh, thank you so, so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.